I don't think it really makes me that much stronger, but the amount of volume I can do basically doubles. What is up everyone? It's Bruce. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907wire.com coupon code Russo. ASMR Spritz Intelligent Elf and Cobalt. Here are your noises. All right, today I'm going to be talking about the no gear, I'm afraid to inject. SARM's so bulking stack for the winner. The most popular one I've seen based on everyone who DMs me at Russo Lifts. I do not recommend this stack. However, this stack is very powerful, but I will say right off the bat that it's gonna obliterate your cholesterol. There may be liver issues, but overall, when you're talking about the most powerful bulking stack, I think this is probably it, and it's very easy to modulate. So first off, when I recommend the stack, I would hope you played around with each individual compound to see how your body individually reacts. That being said, when you combine shit, you know kind of what's causing causing what and if you can modulate one singular androgen down or up that would probably yield better than just slapping them all together and starting right off shotgunning them so the stack is n-clomiphene n-clomid for your testosterone base meaning we want to keep the testicles on we want to keep some form of endogenous testosterone going not for the androgen sake but for the estrogen conversion sake so we definitely want estrogen to stay normal, which is anywhere between 40 to 80, wherever you want to pick it. If your estrogen is below 40, in my opinion, it's going to be very hard to build muscle and you need some sort of adequate E2 level. That's where the enclomiphene comes into play. So enclomiphene is oral, less side effects than regular clomiphene. However, in the higher dosages, it could swell the pituitary and cause eye damage. So definitely keep that in mind that you just can't continue going up with the enclomiphene, but it's there as the base. You know, it's not there to be modulated super high up there. It's there to keep the testicles full. It's there to keep your testosterone going so you can enjoy the SARMs that I'm about to mention. And the stack that everyone seems to enjoy, especially in my local gyms, is RAD 140 plus LGD 4033. So I will say off the bat that I prefer the LGD 3033, and that's a short half-life, but I probably do that on actual gear. But that being said, 4033 is this insanely long half-life, super stable serum concentration levels, but it causes bulking bloating issues right you're gonna have the d-ball moon face from whatever electrolytes it's imbalancing it has nothing to do with estrogen I, I don't know i've tried to combat it with low carb diets i've tried to combat it with anti-estrogens i've tried to combat it with anti-prolactins nothing so it has to do something with electrolyte imbalance but lgd 4033 is going to increase the amount of volume you're able to do in the gym which is going to be great when it comes to bulking. So you're shoving tons of calories in there. You're bringing an LGD, which is going to raise up your basal metabolic rate, and then you're able to do more volume. That's kind of like the perk of LGD, in my opinion. I don't think it really makes me that much stronger, but the amount of volume I can do basically doubles. Then we stack RAD 140 on top, which is a hardener, densifier, not really too much muscle, but actual aggression in the gym. It's neuroprotective. And overall, it's going to help keep that watery look at bay. And it's also going to help increase your strength. So now that your strength is going to be increased, you could add in MK677, growth hormone secretagogue for the IGF-1 pathway, which would yield higher IGF-1, which would lead towards more hyperplasia of your muscle cells, aka new permanent muscle cells, and would make the risking of your health worth it more in my opinion because when you get off you get to keep more gains if you have the 677 in there it's very problematic with 677 i definitely recommend you watch all my content i'll have andrew link some of my content up there watch it all before you do 677 it's not risk free but when it comes to a cheap method to constantly get one to two units of growth hormone a day endogenously produced with your pituitary producing all the growth hormones available Remember, injectable growth hormone is just one growth hormone. I forget how many growth hormones there are, but 677 produces all of them. We could also theorize that you could add in YK11 as a myostatin pathway inhibitor as a pre-workout androgen. So the RAD140, in my opinion, could be dosed every other day. 
every day, but every other day is perfectly fine. LGD 4033 every day, those are super stable androgens. You bring in that YK11 pre-workout for that pre-workout bump. As long as your joints, tendons, ligaments don't take too much of a hit, you are lowering myostatin while you're training like that and while the 677 has your IGF-1 jacked up through the roof. This would be one of the most powerful winter bulking stacks without actually doing gear. I have nothing against gear. I do gear. I've done gear. I've done SARMs. I see benefits and perks of both. Primarily the SARMs being low toxicity orals that I can run for extremely long periods of time and barely move my biomarkers where a lot of the methylated oral steroids obliterate me after two weeks of using them but there's more power with steroids than there is with SARMs most of the time this winter bulking stack that I just laid out which is LGD 4033 plus R8140 plus 677 plus YK11 with enclomiphene to keep the estrogen there that's very serious stack right you should be able to gain a lot of size if you spend money on food and lift hard on it. I would definitely also recommend Tuka from Enhanced Labs after to flush your liver out because you are going to take some liver stress from RAD specifically. RAD 140 is no joke when it comes to fucking up biomarkers, just as it's no joke at increasing aggression and strength. Everyone who does MMA who messages me loves RAD, and there's a reason, right? The endurance, the strength, the density, you don't get super gear pump like results, but you get this dense, strong look. That is what's coming from Rad. And when you stack it with LGD 4033, which is the bubbly, pumped up muscle look, extra volume, crazy pumps, they stack nicely. They just wreck your biomarkers. And that's why I never really recommended this stack. This is one of the most extreme performance stacks of the most tried and true SARMs around the world with the most reports of people taking them, right? I could recommend, you know, LGD 3033 and then, you know, go build a cycle around that. But 4033 is the poster gem SARM that is currently being pushed through all the medical trials and probably will see it used in muscle wasting diseases. That means it's been thoroughly researched. So I hope to see you guys in my next video and that you learned something. Everyone have a good weekend.